Oh, gaggly gacker. You got some splaining to do. <laughs> Intro, please. I oh. So I got to get my hustle on. I oh. Yo, what's good, guys? It is your boy, Jason JV, saying welcome to another reaction video. And technically, this will still be a reaction because I did watch a little bit of this video. I didn't finish it because <laughs> I knew I wanted to make a video uh, for this video. And uh, yeah, I, I watched a little bit of it because I wanted to see what um, what direction um, uh, my, my, my man here, uh, apparently his name is Mike. I want to see what my man Mike was going with this. And uh, I thought he was going one way, but he, man, he, he went a completely different way with this. <laughs> Anyway, let's go ahead and get right into this, y'all. I like it to hit, hit. Go. I'm normally not the guy to talk about my cousin Johnny Gobble like this, but I feel that you, Ryan, up church, should know why Johnny is so mad at you. Yeah, we are all just just dying to know uh, why why my man uh, jo jo Johnny Gobbs. You know, aka the gaggly gacker. Why, why, why is he so mad? I mean, I already have an idea, but you know, of course, I could be wrong. You know what I mean? But anyway, it's not what you did; it's what Mother Nature did, and how you unfortunately came in possession of something that he had patented that was going to make this man a millionaire. You see. One night when Johnny was laying in bed with his sister, well, his wife, well, in, in his part of Kentucky, it's okay to marry your sister. I, I, I didn't think shit like that was real. Bruh. Bruh. I'm sorry, but if that's legit, then yo, Kentucky is pretty... Pretty messed up, man. I mean, I mean, bruh, that's just that just ain't right. At least that part of Kentucky. I'm not saying all of Kentucky. I I, I shouldn't have said it like that. I mean, that part of Kentucky is, bruh, it's it's pretty fucked up. And yeah, I'm gonna shut the hell up and get back into this. And your third cousins are not okay, but your sister is okay in that part. I mean, down here in Alabama, we we don't agree with marrying your sister. Okay, I mean, your second cousin, that's one thing. Your sister, not a... No, my guy, that's just all kinds of wrong, man. We don't, you don't, you don't keep it in the family like that, man. Bruh, no wonder this dude is all kinds of messed up. Okay, all right. But Ryan, Johnny invented something that was going to make him a millionaire. He called him Man Titty Oranges. Now listen to him. I'm a millionaire. He called him Man Titty Oranges. No. He don't said it. Uh, <laughs> so Johnny somehow invented, as he put it, Man Titty Oranges. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm dying. Now listen to me. Now that tornado came through back in December. Johnny was sitting on a whole storage shed of man titty oranges. Now what Johnny? A whole storage sh shed full of man titty oranges, and, and, and he wasn't sharing them. But I I thought Johnny was a good dude. What the fuck? <laughs> How you gonna call yourself a good dude and not share your man titty oranges? I'm sorry, I couldn't say that with a straight face. Man, look at this. I got tears coming out of my eyes, man, bruh. What he does is he goes and buys regular oranges at the store. And then he lifts his man titties up as high as he can, okay? As high as he can. And he puts those oranges under his man titties and lets all that saturated sweat just seep into those, those oranges. 
You see? Now that's just all kinds of wrong. Just, just no. Oh, bruh. No. No. You know, I take back what I said earlier. Maybe it's good that he, he doesn't share his oranges. Now, for some reason, Johnny's man titty sweat makes that orange have a manly pop. So when you peel off that skin and you pop that first bite in your mouth, you, you're overloaded with Johnny Gobble. You see what I mean? Like, it's, it's like incest in an orange. You, you can't. He said, he said it's like incest in an orange. <laughs> That's just all kinds of wrong, dude. <laughs> Bruh. Oh my god, I'm dying, man. Let's go. You can't untaste it. But that tornado came through, and what it did was it hit Johnny's storage shed. And see, your tour bus was in Corbin, Kentucky, unfortunately. And those oranges ended up on the top of your tour bus, like 20 boxes of them. See? So the reason Johnny is making all these videos is because he's trying to get you to come back to Kentucky so his wife can climb way up on the top of your tour bus and get back those man titty oranges. <laughs> Does that make any sense to you, Ryan? But the <laughs> meaning Johnny needs needs his 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 his, his uh, sister wife to uh to, to get his manhood back for him. Man, that's just all kinds of sad. Oh my God, yo. <laughs> this is bad. The biggest thing is your buddy Deerdorf. Oh, poor Deerdorf. Deerdorf had his truck there, right? And on the back of Deerdorf's truck is something that wasn't patented yet. Johnny hadn't got a patent for it yet, so I guess he's afraid that, I mean, Deerdorf's going to sell it of his own. You know what I mean? He called them nutsack tangerines. Now, let me let me tell you the song. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, I give Mike credit, man. I love how committed he is to the story and his acting ability, man. Yo, top shelf, man. Top shelf. I, got, I just got to say that, bruh science and the brilliance behind this what johnny would do is johnny would he would smoke a lot of crack and get real sweaty and he's got a really long nine inch nut wrinkly nut sack so what johnny would do is take those tangerines he would lift that nut sack real high and he would put them tangerines under his nut sack for like 20 minutes so when you tasted those tangerines it was supposed to taste like inbred nutsack and crack cocaine all in one johnny was going to be a billionaire off this idea but the tornado unfortunately it put you in the middle of johnny's success ryan bruh damn that tornado you're you're in the middle of johnny's future right now so the truth is i think the reason johnny's making all these videos the truth about the oranges and the nutsack tangerines and everything. The, the real reason that he makes these videos is, and this is just from my Alabama perspective, is that he's actually in love with you. So that's my theory. I mean, that, that should have been, you know, a freaking given. I mean, given with all these videos that dude's been putting out on church. I mean, bruh, bruh. Is that Johnny Gobble really wants to just wait till you're asleep he wants you to be asleep johnny wants to slide under your bed sheets oh god like the booger man and he <laughs> he's not like the booger man <laughs> oh, <bro. laughs> oh. what do you expect from the uh, booger sugar man i mean i'm just saying he wants to get underneath your bed sheets ryan on a warm night and johnny wants to he wants to sniff your nutsack. Johnny Gobble, I know that's what you want to do. You want to sniff Ryan's nutsack. 
I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm saying, you know, why again, why do you think he made that face to fucking cracky tooth when he was talking to him, you know what I mean, with his mouth what, open wide, making that, that little O shape, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm telling you, man, that, damn it, Bobby, that boy ain't right. I'm telling you. So, I got some, I got some ideas, Ryan, of how to end every bit of this. So, my advice to you, Ryan, to make this guy very happy, to end all of this, is to go get a paper napkin, okay? Get it all the way up in there, right around your taint and your nutsack. Rub it real good so he has that Ryan Up Church nutsack smell on it. I don't like where this is going. And then mail it to Johnny, because that's all Johnny wants. He really wants your nutsack, and he wants to smell it. We can call it the uh -uh. Ryan Up Church Nutsack Poppet. So instead uh -uh. of playing with a poppet, he can sniff your nutsack all uh -uh. night long. And I truly think that will make Johnny Gobble the happiest gobbler in the world. And yeah, that's what I would do. Send your nutsack to Kentucky. Twenty minutes later. <laughs> All right, y'all. So that was, uh, that was fishing with Mike. Um, I'm definitely giving this video a like. This shit was just. Man, this shit was hilarious. This shit had me dying. <laughs> uh, again, I gotta give this man credit where it's due, man. I love how, like I said, I love how committed he was to, to the story, you know what I'm saying? And just, it, that dude, how he was able to say all that without laughing, man. I mean, bruh. My man's a comedic genius. <laughs> So yeah, once again, that was Fishing with Mike. Uh, best believe uh, I'm going to have the link for the original video in the description down below. So if y'all haven't hit it up yet, or hell, if you want to just watch it again uh, uninterrupted on your own time, <clears throat> as you guys would like, hey, like, like, like I said, the, the link for the original video will be in the description down below. And uh, yeah, let's, let's all... Uh, you know, support fishing with Mike. He he. Right now, he's sitting at 569 subs, and I think for that video alone, I think that video alone deserves to go viral, and my man deserves to get his numbers uh, up way high. You know what I'm saying? For just this video alone, this video is fucking priceless. Uh, anyway, y'all look with this reaction. Y'all know what to do with the thumbs up down below. Y'all know what to do with that comment section down below. Look forward to checking out y'all's feedback as I always do. <laughs> Bruh. Uh, don't forget uh, underneath the video link we have the link for the second channel uh, <clears throat> I did upload some uh, some new content on there uh, very recently and also don't forget uh, below the uh, the uh, link for the second channel we have a reaction request so if y'all want to get a reaction request into your boy feel free to look that over and proceed in the way that makes you the most comfortable uh, no, absolutely no pressure either way. And uh, below that, we got, of course, the two merch stores. <clears throat> so, yeah, feel free to hit those up and feel free to use the uh, discount slash coupon codes to help save you on your purchases. You know what I'm saying? Helps out with the channel and it is greatly appreciated. And, uh, <clears throat> and don't forget, if you can't support the channel financially, hey, no worries. All good. No hard feels. Crazy times. So I get it. Uh, you're still helping out in the long run by simply making sure you're subscribed to this channel. If you're digging what I'm doing over here. And um, make sure you got your bell notifications set to all. So you never miss an upload. Doesn't cost a single red cent, but still a big help nonetheless. You know what I'm saying? And that also goes for all of my fan band and the folks at Rockwood Section. Make sure you guys are showing the family some love as well. That would be greatly appreciated. I think I nailed everything. So with all that being said, it is your boy, Jason JV. Seeing y'all take care. Have a blessed one. Catch y'all in the next one. All right? Peace. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>